You're joining me looking back at Netflix. Now, Netflix reported overnight and came out with some stunning new subscriber numbers, but misses on the EPS estimates. New subscribers increased by 10 million in Q2 versus 7.5 million expected. Now, that brings the total number of new subscribers this year to 26 million versus 28 million for the whole of 2019. Revenue increased by almost 25% to $1.35 billion, whilst EPS came in at $1.59 per share. The group has forecast softer subscriber numbers for the second half and revenue was guided at 6.33 billion. Now this is below analyst estimates for 6.33 4 billion US dollars and that disappointment in the guidance caused the um, shares to sell off steeply in the grey market they did they were down as much as 10% at one point just ahead of the US open now the uh, Netflix are set are trading down just below 7% in the pre-market now if we're looking at the chart here Netflix had accelerated gains uh, moving towards the earnings, hitting an all-time high um, just earlier this week. Now, following the result, prior to the results and following the results, um, we could see shares price continue to retrace from the all-time high. But importantly, here we can see that it's also brought Netflix out of overbought territory. Now, traditionally, pullbacks have been a buying opportunity in Netflix, and traders might want to wait to see if the stock sort of retraces back to this 475 level and whether this level holds here. We've got the 50 SMA on daily moving average there, as well as a level which has offered support and resistance. Um, over the past month or so. So if it does hold, that could pr pr produce a good buying opportunity um, for a long position to see whether uh, Netflix can look to retake that all-time high of $575. For more trading videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.